welcome back everybody after this long Labor Day weekend. Hope you had fun and you really enjoyed it. But anyways, Carolina here, a graduate student at the Grok Trade Mentoring Program. It is Tuesday, September 6th of 2011 and we are looking at the Q's Daily Chart. And check this out. What a huge drop. Actually, we are gapping down big time before the market here today, filling that gap perfectly up to a penny closing the day higher so we had this big drop big gap down and then a gap fill beautiful gap fill today on a pretty light volume I do not really like the volume again here on that pop so it doesn't tell me anything important anything major so I don't like the volume and look look at this look at the MACD the MACD is still pointing lower is still pointing south traveling towards the zero line it's getting closer and closer to it so once we cross the zero line and we pass the zero line and continue lower then we would enter into bearish territory and we could be in trouble once you see that happening we'll have to see a drop taking place on our chart and then an increase in volume we will have to see a spike in volume and that would be a really nice confirmation but anyways what else do we see here on this chart check this out look at the 50-day moving average which was acting as a significant area of resistance which we bounced off of it and continued down so that's what it is here it is a significant area of resistance and now we are even below the 8 moving average which is again acting as a significant area of resistance at this point in time because we are still below it which means that we are in a bearish territory according to all moving averages all three of them the first one here in blue which is a 200 day moving average the second one here in red the 50 day moving average and then the one down below in green is the 8 moving average which is sitting right at the 50 let's see what it is exactly 5384 so that is a really significant and major point of resistance major area of resistance for us to watch so that is a key point and put it on your chart so we can better see it once we get closer and closer to it because this is significant this is very important so again the 5384 put it on your chart and watch it really carefully tomorrow as well as the high of today which was at the 5337 so that is another key area to pay close attention to if we ever try to push it all the way up to that 8 moving average to that 5384 mark so that is a key area of resistance to watch and pay close attention to tomorrow so that's one of them but if we instead continue to the downside, first of all, we'll have to break through the low of today, which was at the 51.91, and then we'll have to close below it. And from then on, we could continue lower, breaking through this area of support down below, the 51, 51, about 51, 51 mark. And then once this area of support is broken and once we break through this one and then close below it, we could add even lower to that next area of support down below, the 50, 55 mark. And then the next major one would be down here at about 49, at about 49.64. So you have all areas of support and resistance, very important areas of support and resistance to pay close attention to tomorrow and then the rest of this week and again look for confirmation with the MACD and also look for spikes of volume that's really important all right that's all I have here for you for today have a wonderful day evening and I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow